how to install Windows 11 from a USB flash drive for free. First, we're gonna need a flash drive. I'll link one in the video description and I'll also link a flash drive that already has Windows 10 copied onto it in the video description as well if you guys do not wanna follow the tutorial. But anyways, here we have a brand new gaming PC we just built and we also have a laptop that's been hanging around the house. So the way this works is we're gonna copy all the Windows 11 files onto this flash drive. Once this flash drive is hooked up to either a desktop computer or a laptop and you boot it on, it will then boot up to the flash drive. First, you wanna go over to the website up on the screen right now. I posted a link to this website in the video description for your convenience, so just click that link. Then we are going to go over to Download Now and we're going to open this Windows 11 installation media. Yes, and we're gonna let it do its thing. Going to minimize our browser now and we're going to click Accept. And this is already good. English, Windows 11, next. The media we're gonna use, we're gonna use a USB flash drive, next. And now we're gonna hook up our flash drive into our PC, refresh the drive list, and there it is. Also, very important, the flash drive has to be at least eight gigabytes in storage, next. This process is very speedy. We're already at 40%, so it should just take two minutes. While we're waiting for the files to copy over, I'm curious, what are you gonna be installing Windows 11 onto? Did you just follow one of the PC build guides and you're gonna install it on your new sick rig? Or is it just an old laptop you have hanging around the house that you wanna upgrade? Let me know. Keep in mind, if for your situation, you're gonna upgrade a laptop, make sure that the laptop has hardware inside of it that meets the system requirements of Windows 11 because it does have minimum system requirements, such as a CPU that has to be at least one gigahertz, at least two cores, and at least four gigabytes of RAM, and it has to be a 64-bit system them and other requirements but if you have a laptop that is not completely ancient you should be fine if you built a pc you're definitely fine obviously and it's complete it's as easy as the finish we've created a bootable windows 11 usb flash drive scenario number one you just built your brand new pc so you plug in the usb flash drive into your pc and you boot it on if you're using a brand new ssd or hard drive that's empty it will boot directly to the flash drive if it's a pc that already has a flash drive or ssd in there with windows already installed then it won't boot up to it as you can see so if you do already have windows installed on your system this is what you have to do to get it to boot to the flash drive turn off the system restart it and keep clicking delete on your keyboard so you could boot up to your motherboard's BIOS. So we've made it to the motherboard BIOS. Now what we have to do is locate the boot section, which is up here. So depending on the motherboard that you have, the BIOS layout will be different, but all BIOSes will have a boot section. Navigate to your BIOS's boot section. Once we're there, we're gonna look for boot option number one, and we're gonna double click right here, and we wanna select our flash drive, which is the only other thing hooked up to our system, so we know it's this. Once you've arranged for your flash drive to be the first boot option, we can leave the BIOS now. Save an exit, save an exit setup. Yes, now our system's gonna restart and boot directly to our USB flash drive. And remember, if your SSD or hard drive in your PC was already empty, it will already boot up to the flash drive automatically. You will not have to enter the BIOS. We select our language, next, install now. I don't have a product key. We're gonna be installing Windows 11 Pro, except next, we're gonna select custom install. Now we have a lot of partitions here and that is because the SSD inside this PC was not completely empty. It already had an operating system installed onto it. So since we wanna do a clean install of Windows 11, we wanna make sure that we delete all the partitions. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now. Delete for all of them, delete. All right, done. So now we're left with the only drive that's in here, an SSD, that's 500 gigs, we select it. Now, if your SSD was already empty, then it obviously wouldn't have any partitions on it. You would only be left with this and then you just select it right away. If you have more than one drive hooked up to your PC, you would select the one where you want to install Windows 11 onto. We're gonna click next. And now we wait for this process to finish and then your PC will restart. Our files finished copying over and our system has restarted. Just let it do its thing now. Once your PC arrives to this screen, you can now disconnect the Windows 11 flash drive. All files have now been installed. We just go through these steps. United States for me, yes, skip. If you're connected to the internet, it's going to check for updates. You can name your PC. I will name it PC1, next. And now we wait. Set up for personal use, next. And this is where you will have to sign into a Microsoft account. I'm gonna go ahead and sign in. 
And that's it guys. Once you sign into your account, it will then boot up to your desktop and congratulations, you've installed Windows 11 onto your PC. Now I'm gonna show you the laptop example really quick. So first you plug in the USB flash drive into the laptop. We're gonna boot it on and we're gonna keep clicking F12 on the keyboard so it can boot up to the boot options menu of this laptop's BIOS. And we've arrived to the boot manager. It's already selected the USB. So all I have to do now is instead of going up and down to select it, it's already on it and I'm just gonna click enter and now this laptop will boot up to our flash drive first and there you go guys same process we did for our desktop next and then so forth install now you guys already know how to do it now for your laptop it might be a different button besides f12 every time you turn on the laptop it'll tell you either on the bottom left middle or right as to what keys you have to press to boot up to the bios remember guys if you want to save some time and you want a flash drive that already has windows 11 copied onto it i'll link it in the video description take care guys peace